Hi there, friends. Do you ever have doubts about your work? Do you ever feel not as excited or not sure about your work, even though you like making it? It makes it hard sometimes to get into the studio or maybe even to apply for shows or send your work out into the world. If that has ever been an issue for you, stay tuned. I'm gonna share a special exercise that helps me with that. Also stay to the very end because I have a special announcement for you guys. I'm pretty excited about it. So my name is Michelle Taberge and I'm an artist here in the San Francisco Bay region and I've also been a teacher for 30 odd years and it's my passion and joy to help you and other artists to connect with your inner guidance, to get confident about your work, to make it a regular part of your life and if you choose to get it out into the world. And so one exercise I developed when I was doing my Mindful Artist program was called the 10 5 one exercise. And um, what it is, it's actually spending time really honoring your work in a formal way. So I think, it just for me, and maybe not for you, but I would totally love to hear in the comments if this has ever come up for you, where you're just a person who's just like making, 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 and like never looking back which is awesome, it's great when you have ideas, but I think for me what happens is I don't just sit and appreciate what I've made, I'm just always on to the next, on to the next, on to the next. And um, so taking the time to pause and to reflect and to really look at what you did, sometimes you don't even know what you did until later. Has that ever happened to you where you made a work and you didn't quite understand it or appreciate it and then maybe five years later or 20 years later you're like whoa that that's pretty interesting what I did there I didn't even remember doing that so what you do is um, I have a journal I keep in my studio at all times and I go to it for refuge when I'm confused when I'm struggling you know just not totally in the flow this is where I just pour out my thoughts or write my ideas for what's up next you know things I want to do um, next time in the studio and so forth so what you do is you write out what I call 10 noticings and I'm actually gonna read from the assignment so I get it right because I put a lot of thought into this so write 10 things that you notice about the work no value judgments no personal taste. I'm just gonna make a side note because having been a teacher for many years during critiques, I have a really strong thing against like, I like this, I don't like this. I think that just feeds our ego. That's not what a critique is about in my personal opinion. It's about helping the artist move their personal vision forward. And whether the teacher likes it or your husband likes it or your wife or your mother, your father, your sister, your cousin, your friend, doesn't matter one tiny bit. Personal taste has nothing to do with your mission and purpose and service in the world. You have a unique vision that can only come through you, absolutely. And so personal taste, even your personal taste doesn't matter, okay? So just leave personal taste. We don't care who likes or who doesn't like. That'll come later, but this is not what this exercise is about. Sorry. I'm getting off my soapbox now. Back to the exercise called 10 noticings. Okay, so we're not writing about likes or dislikes. Just pay attention to the thoughts, feelings, and sensations aroused in you by the work. Just really be present, be very mindful, be the witness. If you have meditation um, experience, it's just being that witness. Pay attention to the formal qualities of the work, and by that I mean the line, the texture, the shape, the form, the weight, the space, the negative space, etc. In particular, things you may not have consciously been aware of when you were making the work. For example, I notice a diagonal movement from upper right to lower left, or I feel energized looking at this or the way this wire connects into the plaster plays tricks with my eye. Or when I squint, I notice that all the values in this piece are in the middle range. And hey, 
hot tip if you've not done it before, turn your work upside down or sideways sometimes if it's, uh, we're talking about 2D work. Um, and you will get a whole different vantage point on it. And it's a great thing to do for this exercise because you're not so focused on, say, the content or whatever. You're really just looking at, like I said, those formal qualities of the work. Okay, so once you've done that, do 10 of those. Write all those down. And then you're gonna do what I call five appreciations. And so this is, can be tricky if you're not feeling great about the work, but I bet you can find something in there that you like. So write down at least five things that you love or appreciate about the work. And this is where it's okay to bring in that personal taste piece. So I love the quiet contemplative feeling I achieved here. I appreciate, way, I appreciate the way these three look grouped together. I love the variation of the shades of white I created. I love the texture of this material I used, whatever. And then the one, okay, so it's a, 10 five, one exercise, I'm calling it. One thing that you want to change. Or not, maybe there's nothing and that's awesome. Maybe you've come to falling in love with a piece that you didn't realize you were in love with before. Um, and okay, if you have two things, that's okay, but don't make a laundry list of things. Just one thing is a good starting point, all right? I am so excited for you to try this exercise and let me know how it goes. I'm very, very curious. Um, yeah, I did it with a bunch of people and I, I know it helped them, but I wanna know about you. How, how does this work help you? So now the big exciting, exciting announcement. I have not taught anything in person in forever, I don't know, years. Mm, like maybe five years or something, maybe longer. Um, I did do a class for Craftsy, uh, maybe like four years, um, which you can find in the link below if you're interested, it's a painting class. But this is the stuff that is like, my life's purpose is helping you find your life's purpose. And that's what this um, workshop is about that I'm offering on January 22nd. I wanted you guys to know about it here because um, I actually have a mailing list and they get first access to everything. I always announce everything first to them. I give them special discounts. They know what's going on before you guys do. So if you want to be part of that group, just go ahead over to the mindfulartist.com linked below and just sign up for the newsletter and then you will find out about this when it's released. And also you will get the early bird discount. So um, that might be of use to you. Hey, guess what, you guys? I got this idea from someone because I have people from all over the world and people in all different situations and I care deeply about you and your process. If you look at that page you know, for the workshop and you're like, mm, I really wanna take this, but it's just not happening for me financially. Send me an in email at info at mindfulartist.com and we'll see what we can work out, okay? I don't want anyone to be, not be able to take this because it's just not available to them at this time financially. Um, anyway, so there, that's side note, but okay. I just, my heart is open to you, and if this is for you, I want you to join us. So it's a joy and purpose-filled um, 2022. That's the whole intention of this workshop, is to come together in fellowship. Now, side note, if you're not really into the spiritual side of what I do, this probably is not for you. This is for those of you who like it when I talk about the inner being or the deeper part of yourself. And I have some special stuff to offer and um, part of that is something that I haven't really talked to anybody here about um, and I don't really make public very often is that I have for a long time connected with guides and I am able to verbally channel. And so I lead meditations. I get really amazing benefit personally from this. It's so beyond what I have access to. The information, like I have a new guide blowing my mind with incredible, supportive, helpful information all the time. And I want you who are interested to have access to that as well. Okay, so if this is something that appeals to you, please go to the page, read up on it, Ask us questions if you have any, you know, 
Um, I'm here to serve you, but it would be super fun if this feels right to you to have you in on it. So there you go. Sending you all my love as usual. I hope you have a beautiful and creative week ahead and maybe I'll see you on Zoom on January 22nd.